Alright guys, back in the snake room here again with uh, another animal you guys haven't seen that I've acquired in the last uh, couple months. This girl is actually the, uh, well, I'll say second most recent uh, acquisition. Um, and you can see she's a blood python. Um, the reason I jumped on this is this girl happens to be het T positive albino. Uh, just like my visual T positive of course, but this girl's an adult. She's much bigger. And um, the person that was selling this animal couldn't say enough about how wonderful her temperament is, which is excellent for blood python. You can see even now she's she's moving around. Her and I are still building our relationship, but um, she's getting curious now. She realizes it's not feeding time, and um, she's thinking what's going on out here. So she's sticking her head out there. So um, with my experience so far with this girl. Um, it is, she is, she is very tame. She's never struck at me or, or bitten me or anything. Um, although I have had some issues. She just gets a little shovey, you know, she'll, she'll throw her body weight at you when I, when I'm trying to take her out of here, which is why I'm kind of getting, I'm trying to get away from these PVC cages for bloods and short tails anyway. I think PVC cages are great and for certain species they're, they're awesome. But so I've got some some plans for some big uh, racks with these so like I said she's sometimes is a little touchy with get me getting her out of there not that she's ever tried to bite me but that's why I'm kind of just letting her uh, do her own thing there so I'm gonna put my hand in here and <laughs> you can see she didn't like that now I don't think this girl would bite me but like I said we're still developing our relationship so I'm going to reach back here and grab my hook just to kind of direct her head in the other direction because I am also kind of standing above her sort of thing. So so she's looking the other way now, so we'll yank her out of here. So you can see what I mean. She's just she's a little jumpy when getting her out, but then she should be fine now. So set her down because as most of you know blood pythons have quite a reputation and I used to have some and if you go back in the, the videos far enough you can see some of the ones that I had um, and then I got out of them because you know they got they got quite big and those ones I had were um, captive hatched I believe so they didn't come from a very reputable source and um, but in the time I was out of them, while I was been focusing on the ball pythons, um, I feel like the temperament of blood pythons and short tails in general have uh, has really improved. So I, I'm not scared like I I was to to handle a big snake like this because um, even though they're short, they are thick and they will uh, the wrong wrong snake will will hit you real hard. I've heard I've heard people say sticking your hand in in a tub with a big blood or a short tail is like sticking your hand in a bear trap if they get you. But um, yeah, I'm very very pleased with this girl. We had a little bit of an incident with her getting shipped in. She, for those of you who don't know, I'm in Ontario, and this girl was shipped in from Newfoundland, and um, she actually there was some freezing rain at her. Um, drop off in in Montreal and she got uh, delayed in shipping for an extra day she was stuck in that box and um, when I reached my hand in that box to get her she was cold she was real cold and she wasn't moving very much and quite honestly I, I thought she was dead so I would have been really sad to not have gotten her but everything worked out and she's just fine no respiratory or anything like that she's healthy and um, yeah, she's she's doing really well, and I just love that blood red color she's got to her. But won't be much compared to the the uh, T positive babies that come out of her. But uh, we'll see. She's still a gorgeous, gorgeous blood python. All right. All right. We'll leave it there for this video. Um, 
Hope you guys liked it. If you guys have any suggestions for anything you want to see, um, let me know. Comment down below. And um, don't forget to uh, like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys.